Hey Church, great to be doing devotions with you right now. And today we are wrapping up our series on This Audacious Life. Hope that you've enjoyed the series, hope that you've been both inspired and challenged. And really today I just want to wrap it up and I want to leave us with just an encouragement uh, one that Paul gives us in Ephesians chapter 4 verse 1. I'm sure you've heard it before and he says, I urge you to live a life worthy of the calling that you have received. Life with Jesus is pretty awesome. It's full of adventure and excitement. It's rich in colour and beauty. It's made up of those breathtaking mountaintop moments and also those heart-wrenching valley moments but with Jesus, somehow he crafts both moments into a place where we're just left still with awe and wonder and just really grateful that we have God in our lives. And church, every one of us has been given this gift of life. Your life was designed with purpose and also to be lived totally to the full. And I guess over these last few days, that's what we've been doing, is we've been looking at Jesus and how he did exactly that. He lived an audacious life, making the most of every opportunity and fulfilling his calling. And church, we are here on this planet for as many days as God allows. And I would encourage us to seize every moment that we have. Let's not miss an opportunity to love extravagantly, to show extreme kindness, to go above and beyond in our generosity. Let's not settle for average, for mediocre. We're not designed to have small, isolated, uh, insignificant lives, but we're designed to have life with influence, with significance. We're here to live big, expansive lives, lives full of faith. We're the people that should walk into a room and change atmospheres, that we bring love and hope and kindness and a whole lot of fun along the way. We are Christ's ambassadors. So my encouragement is this, let's live a life worthy of our calling, one that brings honour to Jesus, what a life that grows to be more like him, that's spirit-led, and that ultimately we live lives that point others to him. Let's make a decision today that we are going to follow Jesus' example, live an audacious life, that we're going to have fearless devotion, that we're going to be wildly authentic, that we are going to be seriously fun and fiercely determined. And maybe over these last few days, there's a few areas that the Holy Spirit's been highlighting to you that you know need a little bit of attention. Maybe you need to grab that coffee with a friend and take the mask off just be real. For some of you, maybe you know you need to go back to basics and just put into place the devotion to the disciplines, reading your Bible, praying, spending time with God. For some of you, maybe you just need to find that grit and say, come on, I'm going to have some grit. I'm going to be determined, fiercely determined to do everything that God's put before me. But I encourage you, whatever it is, if you haven't, nothing's jumped out, ask the Holy Spirit to help you. And there is no time like the present. So whatever it is, I encourage you, act on it today. Do something about it today. Let's be people. Let's live this audacious life we've been given. It's pretty awesome. God's given us loads of amazing people to do this life with. And as we live out the calling that we've received, we're going to believe that we're going to see many lives changed and transformed as a result. I'm going to be praying for you today, church. Uh, have a fantastic rest of your day and I will see you real soon.